Nobody likes hitting a big, horrible slice. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you three very simple steps to never hit a slice ever again. Hi guys, I'm Rick Shields, PGA Golf Professional. If you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like if you enjoy this video. I'm gonna show you three steps to never slice the driver again. Very simple steps. If you enjoy the video, make sure you share it around. Let a slicer know there is help available. Okay, so let's kick things off. We're talking about the most important aspect, the club face. Players who slice it have a club face that's open to the path. And so much of that comes down to the way we hold the golf club. If we hold it in a weak position, a way that would allow that club face to fan open to the path, we're gonna hit that horrible slicey shot to the right. So let's strengthen it up. If you wanna fix that slice, we've gotta mostly start with the grip. To strengthen the grip up, we're gonna make sure on the left hand, we're holding the back of the golf club in line with the middle of the finger, straight down the middle of the index finger and into the back of the little finger. Make sure we wrap the fingers around first. And then as we place that left hand on top, we are clearly seeing one, two, and maybe even a little bit of that third knuckle on the top hand. As a good little checker as well, the V that you create between your thumb and your index finger, that wants to be running up to the right hand shoulder. That is a stronger grip and you can feel that. This is a new grip to you, you've never tried it before. Even as you casually swing your arm with that new left hand position, you can start to feel the club face rotate and that's a good thing, certainly for fixing a slice. Let's now go on to the bottom hand, for round the golfers, the right hand. We wanna get this a little bit strong as well. So as we place the right hand on the side of the left hand grip, we are then gonna encourage the right hand to sit a little bit more on the side of the grip, the, hand, the side of the club that's actually away from the target. That way, that right hand has got a little bit more control in the way that it's gonna shut down the face. So now, as I start to just casually rotate my arms, that club face is already starting to come through as a different position. It's starting to come through as a closed, starting to rotate. Brings us on nicely to the next part of this stage one. Do some practice swings, allowing the club face to rotate. As you turn through the golf shot, as you turn your body through, allow the toe of the golf club to overtake the heel. Allow that rotation of the face to happen. A lot of golfers who slice it, want to keep the face open. They've got chicken wings, they've got all things going on. And that's where you get that shot that curves off to the right. Good little tip, as you're swinging through the shot, have the feeling as you're turning your body that your right forearm is extending and allowing it to rotate over the left. And that's not a handsy move. I don't want to happen with the wrists. It's the forearms that rotate, getting that club face to not only square up, but also to close down. Now successfully, if you've changed your grip and you're allowing that club face to rotate, the next few shots you should hit are shots that go more towards the left. Ideally for a slicer, shots that go almost straight left. And that initially will be a refreshing different shot for you. It's not perfect yet. That's what brings us on very nicely to stage two. Stage two is set up. We wanna make sure we set up to the driver in a manner that's gonna allow us to best Get the club moving from the inside of the golf ball, not over the top and slicing it, swinging to the left. And to do this, we wanna make sure that we set up in the most powerful manner, certainly to fix that slice. So as I set up to the driver shot here, I'm making sure the ball position is just inside left heel, and I'm getting my upper body to slightly lean back. I'm trying to get my right shoulder slightly lower than my left. Now a little cheat for this, certainly if you're a slice of the golf ball, from the target line, I'm pretty much aiming straight now. But as a, someone who wants to fix a slice, I would encourage you to pull that right foot back a little bit and definitely pull that right shoulder back a little bit. Now the advantage of that is that club will start to hit a little bit more from the inside and also will start to hit a little bit more up on the golf ball, both giving you much stronger characteristics to fix that slice. Slicers hit down and chop left. Players who draw the ball or hook it, hit up and swing more to the right. 
that with a new club face because of your grip change, you're gonna instantly start to see a shot shape that does not look as much of a slice. Drop that right foot back, drop that right shoulder back, stay behind the golf ball, and with your new grip, swing at that. And you will start to see shot shapes that look a little bit straighter. We are now gonna give you the final little nugget in stage three to definitely eliminate that slice. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, slices hit with a face that's open to the path. And often that path is moving to the left of the golf ball through impact. The word practice on the ball there is dead straight to target. We're gonna encourage a slightly more inside path. We want the golf club to be coming into the golf ball more from the inside angle if the target is this direction. Little tip to do this, and this is great off the tee because you're allowed to obviously line the golf ball whichever way you want. In this example, I'm gonna get the word practice to sit a little bit more on the inside of the golf ball as I'm looking towards it. So I'm trying to hit more the inside of the golf ball. I'm gonna show you how to do that during the golf swing. So in our new setup that we've established and our new grip, it's important to allow the golf club from the very top to drop a little bit more behind you and inside. And having that idea of trying to hit the inside of the golf ball is a really good visual cue to achieve that. However, that's not always the only thing we need. An encouragement of the club to drop behind you, to allow the club to shallow on the way down, almost trying to get towards your right bum cheek, then coming into the golf ball more from the inside is definitely gonna fix that slice. Combining the grip, which is gonna, gonna control the club face, changing the setup, which is gonna allow you to hit more on the up and in turn swing more to the right. This final sprinkling of advice is what's gonna help you fix your slice forever. So with the new grip, cheat it a little bit by dropping your right shoulder back and your right foot back. You're letting the club drop in behind you and your mission is to hit the inside of the golf ball as you allow that club face to rotate. Doing that, you will hit a shot shape that looks much more of a draw shot shape, much more of a right to left shot shape, helping you fix that slice forever. And I'll give you one final nugget of advice because this could be the last bit of information you need to fix the slice forever. Now this, could be the last bit of information you need. This is athlete's foot powder spray. And it leaves a white mist on the club face. To best fix a slice, we don't want to hit the heel of the club. Ideally, we want to hit toe and slightly high on toe. So if I was just to chop this club into quadrants, straight down the middle and straight this way. To fix a slice, you want to be in this zone, in the toe zone. You want to avoid the heel. I'm gonna hit a shot, making sure we get strike location more center to ever so slightly on the toe side of center. So obviously saying hit the toe is easier said than done, but actually monitoring your strike can be really valuable. Using the spray to get some patterns. You might not know you hit the heel. Just knowing you hit the heel is gonna help you move that strike location across. This is where a bit of practice and guidance and a bit of trial and error comes into play. Do everything we've mentioned so far, but then just aim to hit the toe. If you have to set the ball up from the toe, that's okay. If you have to cheat it a little bit, that's okay. Our mission is not to hit the heel. That way we're gonna use the gearing, the natural gearing effect. I must admit, I hit that a little bit low on the strike, but it is in the toe side of contact allowing the club face to work for me as opposed to against me, certainly when we're trying to fix that slice. That's gonna be a little bit of trial and error, but it's definitely a piece of information you cannot neglect. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is a slice recap to make sure you smash this year and you fix that dreaded slice forever. If you enjoy it, make sure you smash the like, 
share the video around to someone who needs help with a slice. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, lots more to come, and we'll see you next time.